Okay guys, this is Herman again in another Just My Review and um, as you guys uh, see in the other videos uh, I just got this uh, beautiful uh, Rich Line 2021 Black Edition and I'm adding some goodies uh, for example I got right here, let me show you guys well I just got this the tunnel cover uh, I'm gonna post a video or I think if you guys watching this video probably you guys already got this one where I uh, waterproofing this guy using this special glue that I showed you in the previous video and I still got to do some changes right here to make sure it's uh, complete waterproof and I'm thinking also to uh, attach the holes that goes in here um, let me see if I can uh, focus a little bit more let's see it's kind of it's kind of dark right there but uh, right here is two holes that drains the water down uh, from the uh, our, our track but today we are gonna do something different I got right here you guys this you guys can see this this is the uh, uh, lighted uh, the lighted door steps uh, from uh, a Honda and uh, this, this is right here let me show you guys that's the part number if you guys wanna uh, pause the video right there that's the Honda part number this is for the Adrich line uh, 2021 this is the uh, lighted door steps and I'm gonna proceed and install this and one of the first steps I want to show you guys the manual I got the manual for the installations recommends to remove the battery and as you guys know you gotta remove a lot of uh, covers and everything if you guys want to avoid that you know simple as this you just guys go to here this is the door a switch for the lights you just gotta pop this guy up let me show you right here that so you guys can see and remove this screw that way as soon as you remove it this is not working as you guys can see there's no lights and i'm pushing the pressing it means there's no lights coming to this why because um, this thing is gonna work with the doors or with the remote control as soon as you guys plug it uh, that thing is supposed to work with the doors or when you uh, open the, uh, the doors using the remote if I don't use the remote I got no problem it's not gonna ignite the electricity and also that if I don't open the doors I'm not gonna ignite the electricity coming to those those steps and that for maybe a reason they don't want you to connect the battery probably can create a, um, a code or something like that that way if we do this we can do the next steps okay let's keep watching and I'm gonna show you guys uh, to remove this right here you guys gotta need some prime tools let me show you like this set I got in here I got this set in Amazon and you got a different types of, of prime tools where you can remove the metal uh, you got this one this is excellent for these little rivets that are a pain in the neck underneath of the car and uh, uh, inside but this is metal this is like a for more cloth you got this huge one I need I, I not even use this one yet but I think probably I'm gonna use this one right here and I you got this other one right here and let me see what else what else we got in this set we got this guy right here and let's get the last one this is the little one for the small parts this one probably the one I'm gonna use right here to find this right here now we're gonna put this one over here and this is supposed to pop out and look at this it's how it works this is beautiful you guys hear it it's, it's popping the first one and you know you don't damage your car okay and that's it we got this one guys you see nice and easy yeah nice and easy we got these guys right here easy remove no damages and we just put this one on the side right here for now because you know what come up right here outside my tunnel yep okay okay let me remove the carpet guys you guys see these huskies i get these huskies uh this is specially made like the weather tech uh but uh honestly i like this one this guy's better 
Uh, I've been using this for a long time. I played both. I've taken these guys and uh, both of these guys were really nice. Okay, now we remove that and it's ready. Okay, now let's go to the next step that is in the other side, right there. Okay, now right here, you guys remember, we gotta do the next step is remove this guy right here. This is easy. You just can pull it out with your nail. It's gonna come out real easy. Okay, we got that and we just a regular screwdriver like this one. Let me see if you guys can see it. You guys can remove this. Alright, this one is done. As you guys can see, as soon as this screw doesn't do ground right here, you got no power. Okay, remember now this other guy right here, we pop this one out. I already uh, pop this one out. Remember guys, it's only four of these rivets right here. Easy to pull out, nothing crazy. Okay, now we gotta remove this piece right here. And this one is the same thing. Okay, first of all, we gotta remove this a little bit, just a little bit, just enough to pull this guy out. And let me see the direct. Okay, this one you just grab it from here. And... Okay, just come out easy, 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 easy. This one got, uh, let me see. One, two, what is the other one? The other one should be right here. Stay there, I gotta pop it out. And for cases like this, is what I got this guy right here. Let's see right here. That one nice. Let's see right here. We got this right here. And the only thing we do is just pop it out. And that's it. Look at this. Let's pop it out really, really easy with this little tool without damaging. The, uh, then we just put it right in, and that's it. And everything goes by right here. Okay. Yes, the only thing we just gotta do is start pulling this out too. You pull it out. Wow, this is so easy. Really, really easy. And the last one right here. Let me try to get this guy. Let's see. The location. To try to see if I... <sighs> okay now we gotta unplug this guy right here okay this one right here we gotta unplug this right here okay now we are going to this other side and basically we finished just right over there you guys see all that well kind of crazy huh okay well we got that one done now we gotta remove you see that we're playing tools, we are with this one and we're gonna remove this one right here. Same procedure. This is nice and easy. We'll grab this guy from here and we just pull it out a little bit, just a little bit right there. Yeah, right there. And this one's gonna come out really really easy. Remember we just gotta grab it from here in the back. We'll have your, your your stuff right here and just pull it out like that and it's coming down let's see how many this one got in here let's see how this guy pull out i think for this one i gotta pull this one over here and okay okay guys i'm gonna show you this one right here this guy's not easy um you just the only thing you gotta do is with with uh, this prime tool, you put it right there. I'm gonna do it with one hand, and you just find this and start playing with it until you get it out. You see, now it's loose. Okay, it pop again. Let me use this side because this is a little bit bigger. And I'm using one hand just to show you guys how easy it is for this guy to come out. That's it. You guys get this one right there. Hold on, hold on, don't get lost. And this piece got two little connectors right there. And you guys uh, can just do that. Very, very easy. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, after we remove that, we gotta leave this guy right here. And it's gonna be kind of tight because we don't have too much room right there. But you guys see that 
a plastic piece we gotta remove that and we're not gonna use it but we gotta go under the car right here and guess what we gotta remove this plastic piece just to remove that and we gotta use uh, this is not what i got i got one all right i got the right one yeah we gotta use 10 and we remove it wow this one was really loose <laughs> what happened here check it out this one yeah i didn't tie this one man i i, I paint this car underneath as you guys can see i did a plus uh under coating under here and there's still some parts right here that i gotta retouch because i don't wanna i you know i try to protect this not to paint it but i still gotta pull right here a little bit still got a lot of paint to do but i did basically the whole entire car under under underneath you guys can see everything down there it's all black everything right there just and everything this is black over here all these pieces this board right here all these used to be like great and i use uh 3m undercoating professional undercoating i've been using it for years i recommend it to you guys it's very very good it's awesome uh okay let's see i got this one i gotta go this other one right here too but i need a tool and okay i got my ratchet right here and See if how hard is this for you. Let's see if I can touch it. Oh yeah, it's right here. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Okay, you guys see it right there? Yeah, it's right there, it's that one. That's the little guy we gotta remove. And don't worry about it because uh, it's gonna be protected with another guy. Still gonna put some on the car in there too. Okay. This guys, after we do that, we're gonna open this box right here, right now. Okay, this is a small piece. Alright, let's put this on the side right here. And let's turn this guy over here. This way. There you go. We got these babies right here. Wow, ah, look at this. Look at this guy, bro. Oof. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Alright. Let me pull this out. I'm gonna show you guys. Alright guys, look at this beautiful bridge line right here. And this finish right here. This is aluminum guys. This is aluminum. And in the panel is also aluminum. Let me just turn it right here. Look at the finish in the bottom, complete aluminum. Right there, so, so. Oh, that's the uh, serial number. And as you guys see, remember the uh, uh, the plastic piece we just removed from the bottom of the car? Well, this is gonna seal it right here. This one right here. It's gonna be on that, and it's gonna completely make it waterproof. Also, on top of this one, I'm gonna put some uh, uh, undercoating too. To, Give you more protection. All right, guys, let's go install this and let's see. I'm gonna put the uh, rest together. Okay, guys, well, I got now the parts all separate right here. It's kind of messy, but you know, we got right here the uh, basically the screws, these aluminum pieces that you have to put in there to hold that uh, the wire that is going in here. And you got some tights, two tights, and the screws you gotta use to put this supports but i'm gonna do something guys you guys come probably gonna call me crazy why are you doing that and everything but i live in new jersey and this uh we got a lot of salt in here and this is the undercoating i'm telling you guys i'm using 3m in all my car and i'm gonna show you guys under here 
basically how everything is looks like as you guys can see everything is really nice dark this is now uh, uh, kind of a uh, uh, dirty because the rain but right over here you guys see basically right here my chassis uh, everything is, is covered uh, I didn't go in deep inside because well I don't think I don't need it because I'm not going really 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 deep but uh, so far in here you know it's very nice just you know to give it a little protection right there you guys see all that I'm protecting all that area some areas I put a lot like those areas you guys see it's very very coated so no other ones I'm not even used that much right here is a lot because it's the way the tire hits and that's why uh, you know I'm putting a lot, of, a lot of stuff right there some parts uh, you guys notice some parts in here didn't put too much uh, you know probably I'm gonna put a little bit more right there as you guys see right there but that one is basically uh, protected uh, I was checking all the cars history and everything it's not too much uh, uh, corrosion right there in those areas uh, basically just the chassis and then under the wheels and those areas right there you guys see this is the most areas you get corrosion uh, but so far you know I'm very happy with it I use him I've been using this for a couple of years and this area I know is gonna need it and well I got something in here guys and I'm gonna use this in here and probably you guys say no don't do that don't kill the finish yeah well that finish you guys see this this, this is just a regular plane like on the knee of your car well let's do this let's put a little bit just for protection probably think i gotta get another bottle because this one is already done areas are the areas that I know when the snow uh, get accumulation and my probably part of the car hidden that's gonna be the parts where I can get accumulation and I'm trying to emphasize right over there in those areas yeah this one is gonna slow me down a little bit but I prefer to do this and uh, I'm gonna try to use a hair dryer. In order to uh, speed up the process. Okay, I still got some of these guys. All right. Okay, let's let it dry a little bit. And then we come back when it's done. Hey guys after we remove these things this is in the electric uh the lighted uh uh, uh boards you have to you have to remove just two of these pieces the plastic pieces right here uh and that one at the very end by the tire uh let me see if i can zoom in yeah you guys can see it right there yep right there is the other one you guys have another one right there let me see if i can put my finger there without you guys see right there you see look at what is my finger i'm gonna remove it and you guys will see it hold on let, let the camera fix there we go you got that one this one right there we are not going to remove we're just going to remove the very first one and this one right here the last one now i just put this one this piece right here, they, uh, uh, these two holders, and uh, you gotta give them 20, uh, using the torque, you gotta give them 20, uh, my torque goes to 25, I think I'm gonna 
cover pass, but I can I can go I cannot go under 20 with this guy right here. Hold on. With my I can do 25. There we have the click. It's getting tired. There we go. That's it, guys. Good enough. And I put basically uh, five more, but I think it's good. Uh, I know Honda suggests 20. If you got for 20, go save, go for 20. I just like I told you guys, I did a 20, 25, and still I feel that I can go more. But you know, well, Honda suggests 20. Okay, let's go for 20. Same thing you guys gotta do in the other side, and then I'm gonna start putting this thing in. I'm gonna put the uh, uh, the boards right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to wire it up. Okay, guys, and these other ones, uh, I told you guys that you have to put 20 pounds over there in those two, hold on, uh, right there, and in the other one right there. And also in this one, guys, you got to put 20 pounds torque. And these two, this is basically the one going in here. This is basically the board right now. Look at how nice it's looking right now. And <clears throat> I have to finish it right here. Okay, guys, you guys going to put 20 pounds. Let's do it. Oops, let me just grab this. Not not easy to handle the camera and and the torque tool. There we go, we got 20 and all of those, 20 in the frame and 20 in the board, okay? Let's go and check uh, uh, the wire, how are we going to put this wire inside? Okay guys, I got the cable right here and we're going to put it right here, hold on, let me focus this guy. It's not easy, camera trying to focus and I'm putting this on that hole. Hey, hold on, I'm pushing this guy right here. It's not easy guys, it's not easy. But I try to make it that way you guys can see how it's going through. And you guys see, we got the wire right here. Okay, I think I gotta pull this wire and get it in the other side. I think I get it on the wrong side. Okay guys, as you guys can see, this thing is almost inside. You guys see these little gaps right there. You gotta put it right there, it's a gasket basically, and this one is gonna protect it from the water. You gotta make sure this is going good. I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to be from top to the bottom, and I'm gonna show you guys how it uh, looks like, all right? Let's go and see this. Okay guys, as you guys can see right there, it's kind of hard to hold the phone in this position, but uh, this piece cannot be loose. As you guys can see, I'm pulling it and moving it and this is tight uh, this one is complete seal around the edges you guys cannot leave that otherwise if you guys uh, get on the water or something like that you guys gonna head inside water inside your uh, carpet and you guys don't want that let me show you how it looks over here and this is the way you guys can make sure and you guys see that everything it looks like this right here you guys can see it's completely completely flat against the metal and it's no way to uh, uh, 
penetrate water if you guys seal this that way. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put some uh, spray coating. I'm gonna show you guys how. And let's go and put now these tights over here. We're gonna use four tights to secure this wire, this harness over here to this rain, all right? We're gonna put this, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. We just put the tights right here and it looks like this. You can see we got one, two, and three. And after that, when you're done, just <coughs> cut, cut the uh, excess of cable you guys have in here. Show you right here, and this other one too. That way, it's gonna look nice and neat, and that's the way it's supposed to look, guys. And now I'm gonna proceed going to the wires inside. I'm gonna show you what you guys were gonna connect this. Well, the procedures. All right, let's go inside. Okay guys, as so you guys can see, I just put some coating right there and it looks how it looks like. I put something in the uh, in these two bolts, that way you know it's not gonna get corrosion. Uh, and that way that thing is gonna get sealed. It's gonna be make it more waterproof than it was. And again, I'm using this guys, it's 3M professional. Uh, rubberized under coating okay let's go and keep doing the rest okay now guys we have these pieces of um, um, aluminum tape aluminum we got in here uh, we have to attach basically this harness to the uh, uh, to the metal of the car using this uh, 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 aluminum tape I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like right now all right voila it looks like this this is the purpose is to you know to give give this a play right just in case probably with the years or time this wire pulling this and then the problem is if you pull this 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 um, uh, this uh, little guy right here the gasket probably is, com is going to move out of the way and then you're gonna have a water filtration but using this tape it's gonna be secured from here and basically on the bottom with the tights it's not going anywhere all right guys everything is connect uh connected right now and uh the thing you guys gotta do is just uh run the cable from here underneath and uh, some cars got over here at special accessory harness and it was made it with the purpose of this but some others doesn't have it in my case i thought my car have it but i find it out that my car doesn't have it in this area right here and then if you if you don't have it uh honda still got another place to connect this thing then you gotta run the cable the cable through here and right exactly over here behind this panel right here just take a look i'm talking about the rich line guys no not another car i don't know about the uh, pilots and the other ones probably are uh, close by but i'm talking about the rich line behind this panel right here when you guys pop this thing out like i show you guys in the connector back there that one is the uh uh the connector you guys gotta use is right behind this one is right behind this you guys will see it and it's gonna match uh, the uh, connector of the uh, um, boards right here. You just gotta plug it, then just put some tights and put all these panels in place. Put this one, put that one, everything. And I'm gonna show you guys how do everything looks like when you guys done. Okay guys, well, finally the job is done. And I got the lights off because I want you to guys see how it looks like okay let me turn it off the light of my phone that way I think is gonna be better all right guys uh, how did you guys see a little bit dark in here but you guys will see the difference right now 
Look at that guys. As soon as you guys turn it on, the uh, open the door, you guys see all this illumination on the floor. And look at how cool <clears throat> it looks like at night. Just think when you walk in uh, basically in a place that is really dark. Look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. Let's say um, I just close the door, right? Okay. Now, when you open the doors, it detects the light automatically. You turn it off, the light goes off. This is beautiful, guys. I love this. Uh, so far, I didn't see another guy with this with this guy like that. Uh, let's say I'm gonna put the uh, uh, remote starter. Let's see. I just wanna make sure. No. Nope. Just blinking. No. Nope. Okay. But open the doors. Walk to the doors and you guys see the lights and that's the job done right here you guys can see the lights real strong i'm gonna try to see if i can get uh, <clears throat> i'm gonna try to see if i can get like uh, those lights that you can see the logo it will be nice <clears throat> i think probably it's possible to do it just you know just i gotta go under here and let me just turn it on the lights pretty much better okay so you guys can see this is basically right here with the light coming out right here with this guy and i see if you can put a reflector that's what is gonna be my next step uh, guys look this remember uh, uh i painted it uh with uh under coating right here well it's now already done and underneath of this you don't need to do anything because this is all aluminum and it's, it's very strong guys i love this guy it's good for city guys it's more than enough and the design is beautiful guys you guys see rich line right there and uh, it's a little bit dirty right now because i step on it already uh, cleaning my 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 roof but it's beautiful guys well guys there you have it i'm gonna post another video uh installing my next uh i think i see another guy is doing it the uh plate skid plate for this guy as you guys can see these cars this uh, pickup trucks doesn't have any plate under the under back. the engine and that's gonna be kind of dangerous if you uh not only if you go outside uh, on, on, on doing uh, off-road but uh, if you go around when it's snow and everything you got a hard rock or something like that too on the highway this is the plate right here from from Nolo and that's gonna be my next video too and also from these guys I got this is right here guys this is the other one this guy right here I'm gonna show you guys that at all this is the plate for the fuel and well guys thumbs up uh, any questions uh, you guys have let me know i'm gonna try to help you out everybody most of the time i answer the questions guys take it easy god bless you all and see you guys in another jazz review Whoa!